So you'll see the, the type of property that we're in. It's a four bedroom student house and it's typical of what the market was before I really got going. And it's standard, putting a wall up in the living room, poor quality decor, the cheapest kitchens imaginable, one bathroom or one working bathroom, and these old secondhand sofas and brown carpets and laminate cheap flooring, all just done at the absolute minimal expense. And that was the market for years. And at £1,400 per calendar month, not a bad return. But when you start to invest in the touch points, I'm not talking about new heating or new roofs or new windows and new front doors and all that stuff that the, the students or the market don't see. I'm talking about the stuff that's important to them. One being a bathroom for every single student. That is the way you can increase the rental income. You can't just rely on the market rents going up in your area. You have to try and breach the boundaries of the market. And I think if you fragment it and play at the top, you will always be one step ahead. And people to this day don't get how I get the deals so cheap. They don't get how I get the rent so high. They don't get how I get all of my money out and then some when I refinance. And it's just because I stick to the principles. I recognize what the market wants to see and I play to it. If they want a modern kitchen, we put it in. If they want appliances like dishwashers, we put it in. If they want you know, high-end premium tiles that make their bathrooms and their kitchen areas feel more modern, we do it. We spend the money on the touch points. That's the difference between investing for your ego and investing for the market.